voltameter cyclic voltameter now cyclic voltameter is a potential dynamic electrochemical measurement technique now in this cyclic voltameter the working electrode potential is ramped linearly with time now in this we can see we have provided the potential from v1 to v2 now this v1 can be called as initial potential and this v2 that is set potential or the vertex potential is v2 from where the ramp inverses we move towards the positive potential and we get the anodic peak current value as well as the potential value similarly when the ramp is inverted we get the cathodic peak potential and the cathodic peak current value now in cyclic voltammetry we can see the initial current which is obtained is capacitive current now the capacitive current is obtained by the double charge layer being formed at the surface of the electrode after that as the experiment progresses we get the peak current values and the peak potential values now as we get the positive current we get the positive potential and positive current and when we to go towards the negative current value we get the cathodic peak current and the cathodic potential now for with the axis of time we can see on the time scale we can see that the working potential ramps linearly with versus time from v1 to v2 and then the ramp is inverted v2 to v1 we get a triangular waveform now this is the capacitive current this is the peak values of the inner light that is the faraday current then when the potential is reverses we we get the reduction peak and above is the oxidation peak so the potential and the current values obtained of the inner light now to know whether the reaction is reversible or not the difference between the peak potential that is the anodic peak potential and the cathodic peak potential obtained should be equal to 59 millivolt similarly the ratio of the anodic peak current values as well as the cathodic peak current values should be equal to 1 now how to draw this tangent we will draw the tangent and draw perpendicular to it the point which we get on the peaks the particular point we will obtain the peak potential value and the current value similar is the case in the case of cathodic peak current and the peak potential here we have drawn the tangent here then perpendicular to it we have obtained the values of the potential as well as the current after having the general idea we will switch over to the practical experiment where we will perform the experiment of the study of the cyclic voltammetry of ferricyanide solution in the supporting electrolyte kcl